Welcome back to collecting Elvis on vinyl. This is part 19. Today I thought we'd take a look at some variants of the movie soundtrack albums. Different labels, different countries, different pressings, etc. So, let's delve in. And let's pick one. What did you expect? Bananas? It's Blue Hawaii. There's a DVD. And here's a few variants. There are tons of variants of Blue Hawaii out there. Here's just a few. Reportedly this was Elvis's biggest selling soundtrack. So we'll start off with the UK Stereo 1961 Silver Spot release. Stereo, that cover, front with the stereo at the top, next copy, here's an 81 pressing in the black RCA, again Back cover, front cover, slightly different with a white border at the top. Next copy is a mono copy. This is not the original Silver Spot mono copy, this is a later 1968 Red Dot mono copy, as you can see from the label. That. very similar the front obviously has the mono on the top next copy is the 1970 orange RCA again the back cover with the three pictures the next two copies will have the extra picture of Elvis on the phone. So this is a new black German pressing, early 80s, slightly different sleeve on the front, the label looks like that, and as you can see on the back it's got the extra picture. Four pictures on the back as opposed to the three pictures on the early editions. Next one we have is the USA copy. And this does have the four pictures on the back. And the label looks like that. Got some CDs here as well, but we'll look at them when we get into the CDs at a later date. Got one more copy to show you. Okay, so one more copy to show. This is the original 1961 mono silver spot pressing. Got this one, the one underneath. Uh, before anybody offers me hundreds and hundreds of pounds for this, please don't because it is not for sale. And there it is. Yes, that is genuine disintegration of the whole bottom of the sleeve. Genuine relic sellotape. Elvis has got a few cuts on his face. All that karate. And let's take a look at the back, which keeps up the trend. Rips, sellotape, splits, and absolutely no bottom of the sleeve whatsoever. Shall we take a look at the record? 
I'll disperse with the inner sleeve because there isn't one. And there's a record. I don't know if you can see this. But this is genuine 1961, never been cleaned vinyl. Lots of spindle wear. Hundreds of tiny scratches. So I must say this record actually does play. It plays without any sticking or jumping. Now obviously there is cracks, pops, clicks, surface noise. Uh, one of the quieter tracks might be Island of Love, I think. It sounds like you're driving through an industrial estate. But it does actually play. Now the reason I keep this record was this was actually my mum's original copy. I did ask why it's so beat up. And she replied that it's because I let you kids get hold of them. So unfortunately that's seen better days but I keep it for sentimental value. Okay. Now this was a number one album in the US and the UK. And from it was a single which was also a number one. In the UK now I haven't gone into singles at the moment because if you're looking at variants uh, well depending on what collector you are or fan some fans relish this others it's a nightmare to keep up with the differences uh, just looking at these three if you look to the left hand side here the BIEM NCB Belinda underneath next copy you'll see Belinda's on the top with different boxes and the next copy different again no tax code ZT tax code OT tax code uh, it's got the twist special on there you can see the fonts different on this copy slightly smaller than that one you can see that so I haven't I've got about 400 singles, so maybe one day we'll start getting into them, but I think we'll stick to albums for the time being, but they really are so many variants of singles there, and this is obviously just UK. It was again issued in 77 in a box set, all Elvis's number ones at the time, which was 16, and this picture sleeve, same picture both sides from the cover blue away. And it was on the orange four prong. Of course, they've dropped the twist special now. It's just Rockahula Baby. There's EPs. This is a French EP on the uh, on the blue RCA. But uh, we'll get into them maybe at a later date. And also this this box set, which I have here. But again, this has seen better days. This was a great box set when it first came out. I need to update the box. It really is falling apart, but the records are all pretty much looked after. If I can get them out. One second. Now, so the records are all pretty much looked after. But this was a great release when it came out. Again, if we get into singles, we'll go through them all. Let's pick another soundtrack. Okay, let's pick another one. To make this a bit more interesting, I think what I'll do is I'll give you a line from a film and see if you can guess which soundtrack I'm talking about. So let's go for... The line will be... You're real. All of you. Do you know what movie that's from? The line is, you're real. All of you. It's from Home Holiday. So let's take a look at that one. So there's the DVD, Home Scarum. Right, let's take a look at two variants. First one is the UK stereo edition, Home Holiday.
from the red dot. Again, as pointed out on an earlier video, early copies had spelt Mirage wrong. As you can see there. So that's a stereo copy. This is a Japanese copy of the OB. Maybe it looks like that. This is an 82 pressing. Back cover looks like that. And as you can see, they've used the American title Harem Scarum on this copy. Another copy, this is circa 1980 on the RCA International label. Green. That cover looks like that. Obviously, they've corrected the Mirage. Another copy. This is on the new German black, and eighty three. There at the top, and we've got a mono copy UK red dot. This looks like that. Now, this album actually comes in for an awful lot of criticism. Uh, personally, I like it, I like the film and the album. Uh, a lot of fans say. It was so bad that there wasn't even a single taken from it. Well, I'd like to also point out to those fans that this album issued a couple of albums before that didn't feature a single either. This album got to number one in America. In England, it got to number 12. In England... Harem Holiday got to number 11. One place higher than Roustabout. I'm not knocking Roustabout. I think that's a good sound check as well. But this one isn't as bad, I don't think, as people make out. I think people read books and it's become myth that it's his worst soundtrack album and his worst film. But I quite enjoy it. It's not a bad soundtrack. And it certainly isn't my least favourite Elvis film. OK, that's all we've got time for today. I will go through all the soundtracks with the variants that I have. I'll probably try and go through all the Elvis albums that I have with all the variants in, in the future, hopefully. So, until then, just remember, while there's music, life's no waste. See you shortly.